Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Terraria Master Difficulty with a hardcore character. Silverius here has, um, he hasn't been busy in between episodes at all, but I have been busy in the previous episode, meaning I have actually, you know, gotten a couple of NPCs, namely the guide and the merchant, and we kind of have a little quest ahead of us, and that is to explore the surface cave that we just dipped our toes into right around here. That's going to be the name of the game today. As you can see, I do actually have a decent little kit started, including a godly wooden yo-yo. We also have a keen spear that we found. We have a ruthless wooden sword and iron bow. So let's go ahead and see what we can do today. I do want to be killing slime still. Uh, no, no, because I need that gel. We can now buy torches, but oh, crud, it's raining. Oh, you know what that means. It means bigger slimes, but also flying fish. I don't need any of that in my life. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna... Whoa, that was quite the leap there, friendo. So dark. Don't like this at all. Keep going, keep going. There's the cave we're looking for. Whole bunch of sunflowers up there. We'll go get them at another time. Oh, that's right, the stinking tundra. I forgot all about that. Oh man. Uh I really, really don't want to be in underground tundra. Ice bats are pretty horrifying, but let's just go down just a little bit, being very cautious because any trap will surely kill us. But the tundra is a decent place to locate gemstones. Not if it's going to be full of water, it's not. Is that a, that's a pressure plate right there. Okay, so this is actually really good that I saw this because while we can't get the pressure plate, we can get the dart trap. And having the dart trap in our inventory, like so, will now reveal wires. But what good does that do me if I can't if I can't get anywhere because it's just all water? Okay, this is, got another trap down there in the water. Probably another dart trap from the looks of it. So the goal today, I would absolutely love, uh, number one, to be alive at the end of it. That would be, that would be ideal. I would also love to have an iron pickaxe. And uh, honestly, beyond that, I'm just gonna go ahead and call everything else gravy. Oh gosh, this is just some of the most disappointing gen I've seen in a while. Not the worst. Definitely not writing home about this one. Wow, this is bad. Yeah, this is just not, not worth exploring. Okay, well, reluctantly, oh, goodness gracious. It's evening, and it's uh, raining. Okay, but because it's evening, he now sells glow sticks, and I love my glow sticks. So let's go ahead and sell some of the animals that I've been collecting. There we go. How many do I want to buy? <laughs> that many? Sure. Uh, the reason I love these so much is just because I can, well, uh, chuck them. I can do that, and that's just great. All right, let's start getting organized here. Yeah, a little bit at least. That is not enough for a pickaxe. I need one more iron bar, which is not bad. Also, kind of a sucker for goldfish when it's raining like this. No, we could do. I think we'll be all right. Yeah, look at the damage. Don't kill my goldfish. 
Yeah, don't worry about it, Brandon. I got this. Oh! No, thank you. The rain hat? <laughs> okay. So... Not... Not a whole lot for me to do right now. Unfortunately. What I could do... My rope situation. I have 155. I can get more from Wilbur here. I'm kind of thinking that maybe I just dig straight down and get, you know, hope that I get lucky. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else to do. The the spawn. We got jungle over here. We've got tundra over here. I don't mind crossing the tundra. Crossing the tundra wouldn't be much of an issue. It's what's on the other side of it that might be the problem. So, okay. I know, being a little bit uh, picky here, but I do want to grab that fish. Sell it to Wilbur. It's worth eight silver. Right? There we go. Um, let's just start digging. Toss some glow sticks. The biggest problem with doing this is because it's evening, I could actually get enemies dropping on my head. Oh. Okay. You know what's funny is that that might have just given me my first goal of the day, which was, well, no, that was survive. But I think that just, oh, it's silver. No offense, silver, but, uh, you are not what I was looking for right now. That is a little opening, though. Oh, wait a second. Okay. This might be one of those little pocket cave situations. And what I mean by pocket caves is when you actually get these little pockets of cave activity instead of just full-on caves. I could deal with that. I'm just going to keep uh, making sure I have an egress. I hear, I hear water. Something swimming around in the water. See, this is where it starts to worry me. So what I'm actually going to do is get like this. And every so often, I will just put a single block above my head. That'll prevent enemies from dropping right on me. I do expect that these first couple episodes, if we even make it that far, are going to be very, very slow indeed. And that's okay. Well, at least I'm saying that's okay. You can make up your own mind about that. Okay, what is this? A little pocket. Using our new friend here, the dart trap, just to look for baddies, no? Baddies being traps in this case. All right, potential decent opening here. No traps. Okay. Got some uh, some ore to get. There we go. Iron. There's enough for our iron pickaxe. We'll have to go back for it, but we'll we'll stay down for a bit. Getting absolutely everything we can will be the name of the game for some time here. Beggars, in fact, cannot be choosers. Come on, let me nerd pull a little bit. There we go. Now, if this keeps going, we might have just found ourselves way to spend the next couple of days in-game terraria days that is 
Do we want to go up, take care of that slime? Come on, go back. Go. Do you want to grab that money? Right now I'm just that Peter's out, okay. Oh, not having any mobility means that this early game is so slow. Any wires? Nope. Now we'll continue to take all the glow sticks though. Alright, more iron up there. And I can tell it's still evening because I just heard a falling star. Silver, okay. Keep it going. <sighs> kind of losing a little bit of steam here, potential. Wait a second. Wait a second, that looks like it opens up. Okay. <laughs> Guess we're falling in the water. Worm. Worm. Okay, clear. Clear some space. Good. Almost got him. Oh, okay. Everything's scary right now. 100 HP goes by really fast. Oh, gosh. Why? Why these drops? Okay, here's what we're going to do. Cobwebs are going to be good. Crafting, well, we can craft white strings to enhance the length of our yo-yo. Which is also just a really good, easy accessory to get as long as I make a loom. Uh, but we can also make silk, silk with it, which will allow us to craft a bend, which is important. Alright, no traps. Also, real... Just a goldfish, everyone. Just a goldfish. Hmm. Oops, sorry. I mean, it was bound to happen. Let's go to the left. I think that's where I saw the jellyfish. Uh, you know what? How much of that fell? Eh, some. Okay. Riveting gameplay, I know. It'll, uh, it'll get more exciting. <laughs> or it won't. I can't make that kind of promise. Man, this is disappointing. With all the pots that I've got, I haven't gotten a single bomb. And getting a demolitionist nice and early, I think is so key. Come on now. Hmm. Yeah. Definitely one of those pocket cave situations. Sorry, mouse. I think my mouse just caught something bottom left, though, so let's see if anything uncovers that over there. It should be day. I could go topside. Okay, I see something there. I think it's going to be a gem of some sort.
Ugh. I am terrible with the spear. This is where my buddy Gladdy always comes in clutch. Anytime we get a spear, it goes right to him. Oh yeah, that's that's a good gem deposit. Now what is it? I'm really bad with colors, is it topaz? Alright, so it's it's the the weakest of the gems in terms of creating a magical staff or a grappling hook, but it is definitely better than nothing. Don't wanna get caught. You know, let's go left. Ooh, that looks like platinum. Hey, slime. Hey, slime. No, thank you. Okay. All right. Bit by bit. At least we know when we go topside, we're going to get an iron pickaxe. Not much else right now to show for it, but you know. How many topaz that I can get? Six. Fifteen for a hook. gonna have to deal with that that jellyfish but I got I have range options maybe we'll get super lucky and get a jellyfish necklace on the first kill yeah not a not a single heart crystal not a single bomb from pots it's honestly very surprising I don't want to open this up, so instead, I'm going to really, 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 really hope that there's no sand or anything above me. And in case you didn't know, sand does have gravity, sand and slush and a few others, meaning if you break the block under it, it can then fall on your head, and it does ridiculous damage. Very easy to kill yourself with falling blocks in, uh, in this difficulty. Okay. Okay, and vulnerable when they're electrified. There we go. Drop a glow stick. Make sure there's no bombs, no traps. Okay, we got platinum. Not much platinum. Hmm. Get a breath here. This is that. That iron directly below. It is. Okay. Tell you what. That's gonna ruin a lot of light sources, but lowers the water level just a little. Gosh, I didn't breathe enough. <gasps> Whoops. Okay, that, that'll work. Of course, now I'm still just left in a tiny little hole. What's my iron count looking like? Okay, decent. Let's see if I can't drain this water somewhere. Oh, more iron directly below. Oh, there's a place to drain it right there. Ooh, nice iron deposit, too. I don't think we'll be in full iron gear, but we'll be on our way. I'll tell you what, I love playing co-op. Absolutely love playing co-op, but there's something we've said about only having one mouth to feed. All right, now, is there anything else that I can get done before I just have to abandon this? Come on, 
give me just one one other little pocket. Give me a house. <gasps> blue fairy. Or a, I don't know if it's blue fairy. It is a blue fairy. So the fairies are an addition. I forget when exactly they came about, but they will lead you to something good. Could be treasure, could be a heart crystal. I just need it to start flying in a certain direction. Is that? Okay, a lot more iron. Thought I saw something blinking right below me. The only problem is, you know, if you become of the uh, the singular mind and you just follow the fairy, it can easily lead to your death too. To no fault of the blue fairy. Can I get? There we go. Oh, Minecarts are so dangerous. What am I looking at? Silver ore. Oh, red slime. What do you got? 105 health. Goodness gracious. It's not that I can't kill you. Okay, pardon all the rapid clicking. Okay, uh. oh, look at all this good stuff. Where are you going, fairy? Up there? Okay, here's what I'm going to do then, because there's actually a decent amount of stuff here. I'm going to block this off, right? And then I'm going to block this off right here, and then I'll follow you. But I want to be able to come back here relatively safely to get all this good stuff. You're gonna have to really be patient with me, Fairy, though. I am slow. Oh, I see sand down there, and I don't love that. There's a lot of good resources here, though. If I'm able to find whatever it is she's leading me to, and come back and get all this, we're gonna be in good shape. It's gonna be a while. <laughs> like I said, though, the first few episodes, oh, crystal. That is wonderful. That's going to get the nurse to move in. Give me an extra 20 HP. I see you, friend. Nearly there. All right, we will check for traps. There shouldn't be any, I don't think, but... Nothing. Great. Okay. So... The nice thing is we shouldn't have to actually open up that cavern, I don't think. Maybe a little. There it is. Excellent. And that, once we have a house available, will allow the nurse to move in. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to play cleanup, get all of these little pockets that I can see. And then we're going to head back. We're going to see what we can craft. Build a quick house for the nurse. That'll probably bring us to the end of part two. Things will start speeding up. I promise. Now, I know. There are Terraria speedrunners out here that do this on the regular. And they do it in, you know, three hours or less. I'm not that guy. I'll never be that guy. I can recommend that guy. Okay. As far as we're going to go there. Okay, 
Blue slime can get at me. There we go. But if we just quickly get up here. Just enough so we can get... Yeah, here's another blue coming. Ooh, a little bit more. Actually, put a torch there instead. Okay. So grab this iron, grab that silver. We're going topside. I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to have to hope that it is evening. Oh, that's platinum. Oh, a little bit of platinum there. That's interesting. I wonder if we got enough to make a platinum bow. Now that would be something special. Because a, an iron pickaxe is fine. And a platinum bow would be absolutely fantastic. I might just go kill those slimes just for fun. And because I should be able to pretty easily because my gosh, the yo-yo is so good early game. Especially when you get the chance to actually catch enemies from behind because it, blo it bounces into them. It causes the enemy to recoil backwards, bouncing them back into the yo-yo repeatedly. It's pretty great. There we go, okay. Okay, turning dusk. That's all right. We can easily build a house. Let's go ahead and get rid of this tree. Uh, and you know what? Let's let's build her house over here. It can be separate from the from the other guys. Okay. Just something quick. A little bit of flare, you know. She being the nurse, by the way. Guess I could have specified that. I'd like to put it there and there. Okay. Now, what does the nurse need? Of course, she needs a table. And a chair. I'm going to give her two in case she wants to entertain. There we are. And I'm going to give her just a little stone background. Why not? She won't move in till the morning anyway. I'm very surprised I didn't get any bombs. That's that's normally a very quick one. All right. Make sure this is suitable. It is great. Now. For the moment of truth, what can we make? First off, let's start organizing before we even build stuff. So I'm gonna do iron, platinum. Got our topaz there. Where's our silver? Decent amount of silver ore, okay. We're gonna start with the big stuff, platinum. Three bars. Enough for exactly nothing. Silver though. That's decent. That's not for a helmet. That alone is worth three defense. The same amount as my entire wooden set. Um, sorry. There's an owl here. <laughs> owl sell. Listen. Beggars can't be choosers, as I've said. All right. So. Then iron. Wow. Wow. That's actually not enough for a full iron set, but what we are gonna do is grab an iron silver pickaxe. No, it's no different because it's very fast, very weak knockback, 45% pickaxe power. Yeah, I don't need that right now. So just do regular old iron pickaxe. And then since I can make a silver helmet, I will. 
And we can also do iron chest piece and iron greaves. Look at that. We've just gone from three defense up to eight with a single mining session. And I think that is pretty great. I haven't found any clay, which is disappointing. If I had clay, I could start making some clay pots and start planting plants because potions are going to become incredible. Look at that. A pin cushion zombie with the zombie arm. That just makes me worried. Um, okay, actually, before we wrap up, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do anything else. I'm going to make a chain, though. Because with the chain, eventually, once we have a little bit more iron, we'll be able to make the sawmill and the loom, and that's what we're going to have to do here uh, very, very soon. Okay, but for now, we're still alive, and I'd say that's pretty... Oh, I got a pressure plate. I didn't think you could get pressure plates in master mode. Interesting. Well, I'll have to figure that out another time. But for now, that is going to do it for this episode of Shut the Door. <laughs> A blue plate. Oh, I just sold my axe. I need that back. Sorry. Blue plays Terraria on master difficulty with a hardcore character, slowly but surely making progress. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're still enjoying, and I'll see you next time.